Why is it that men want sex so much? What's going on, everybody? Uh, big shout out to everybody as we give the most high Yah, who are all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship. Video responds back to you, Tiffany Kerr. Um, great question. Um, I'm going to come from a, a biblical standpoint to a um, hot topic because we know that some men have high sex drives. Um, some may not, you know, um, but let me, let me, let me hit you with something. Um, a lot of women don't like when I say this, but it's biblical. When you go back to first, um, Corinthians chapter 11, around verse 19, it says, neither was man created for the woman, but woman was created for the man. We have to understand that off top. And then when you get to um, Genesis 2, chapter 2, verse 18, the Most High said it was not good for man to be alone. Now, catch that. He didn't say man couldn't be alone, but it's not good for us to be alone. Now, I wanted to point that out because the way we are created, a man... See, sex, let me, let me slow down with this. Sex is not just something for us for us in the physical, okay? A man wants to feel needed also. And that's why when y'all say y'all feel secure instead of insecure, you feel protected. Do you know how that makes us feel? Sex is a is a beautiful thing designed by the Holy Spirit inside our covenant of marriage. And another thing I like to say about it is it make us feel very confident. See, men have emotions too. We may not show it like y'all want us to, you know, versus y'all are very emotional. Y'all operate off emotions. We don't, but men do have emotions. But most men, especially back in the day, uh, was taught to be very tough, you know. And some men will tell you, hey, it's a priority. Um, it's my sexual desire. It's comfort. See, they used to tell me back in the day growing up, the key to a man's heart is to cook for him. That ain't never been the key to my heart. Now, I can't speak for no other man but myself. That ain't never been the key to my heart. And when I look at my heart, because I love heart, um, and, and I look at the heart of a woman, this is why I always ask women, how much do you value yourself? Do you select or do you settle? Because who you are with, once again, says a lot about who you are and what you have accepted. But when you start talking about this, this desire, this these sexual desires, men love sex. Sad thing is now, men with men, it ain't it ain't nothing new under the sun. Women with women, which is totally unnatural, totally against the Most High Yahoo's will. Even though this world system try to make it look like it's all right with all the stuff they try to you know, do to say it's okay. All these commercials that's out with these pills and everything and, and stuff you see and they, they try to say it's okay, but we know it's not. Um, but when you think about how we operate once again, now, some women email me a lot of time and say, it just seems like that's all men want. Now, I'm going to get a little bit raw right quick to those who love the rawness. Um, how many men on this platform, or maybe you just come in, will deny sex? Will, de will deny, I don't want no head. I don't want no oral sex. I don't know too many men like that. I say this all the time. Women, y'all hold the key. 
which is your vagina. And if y'all don't want it, y'all give us a hard time getting it. I don't feel like it today. Well, I do. Well, my head hurting today. Mine ain't. I don't care. I ain't even trying to mess with your head. See, to us, that's excuses. Because we don't give out excuses when we paying the bills, the mortgage, the car note. It's no excuse. I'm talking about real men. I ain't talking about these old sorry, no good, lazy fools out here. These lazy asses. I'm talking about men like Boaz. Providers. Not stank ass, not lazy ass, but bow ass. We don't give excuses. See, you, you got to realize all the excuses you give us, I'm tired of this. I, man, how many men going to work hours and hours overtime and still come home and want it? Because it's in our nature. We don't care how tired we are. Pop them legs open and see if we're going to turn it down. No. I don't know men that turn down sex. So when it comes to y'all talking about the way we are versus the way y'all are, and I mean everything I'm saying out of love, it's totally different. Totally different. And I tell people all the time, for a man, sex ain't just a want, it's a need. So there are many different reasons why men always want it. They don't make that man crazy and and. and now you ask me what's the what's the most average that a person should have sex? I can't answer that for nobody but myself. Now I know when I was in my twenties, whoo, I wanted it at least three times out of the week. I know when I was in my thirties, I know I wanted at least three or more times out of the week. <laughs> I, I stopped right there, and as I get older and older, my drive don't slow down. And a lot of men don't. Now, let me flip the note on this. Now, I know a lot of women bodies. That's why I got to say the truth. A lot of women's bodies um, change throughout the years. Um, you know, you go through menopause, other issues with your, with your health and strength, with your body. And that, that makes your sex drive, you know, may go down or not, not even want it at all. I know plenty of men dealing with that. And that's hard. For a man. Because go look at the video I did called When a Man Need His Sex. And this is why a lot of men will go out and cheat. Not that a lot of them would really want to, but they felt like they had no other choice because you cut it off in the bedroom. And I'm not saying all, all women do that. So one, once you think about um, what I'm saying in this video, and... Um, what is that? First Corinthians chapter seven, verse five. This is why Paul was saying we should never neglect each other's needs. Sexual needs, you should never neglect each other's needs. But like I say, certain things happen with a woman's body. Um, that choose that what makes that woman choose is not to, you know, I don't feel it, I don't want it, you know, I'm, I'm, or I'm not like that no more. I know what I was at the beginning, and see, that's dangerous, because as the old fuck would say. What you what you did to get that man, same thing you got to do to keep that man. And a lot of times along the way, um, a lot of things that the woman was doing in the bedroom, they stopped doing it. So that man is still wanted. And nine times out of ten, he going to look for somebody else who's going to give it to him and wind up cheating with them. Now, committing adultery, is it wrong? Hell yes, it's wrong. You know? But you got to... Um, I always like to hear both sides of a story. You know, I always say, you got your side, he got his side, she got her side, and the truth probably lies somewhere in the middle. I've been saying that for years because when you sit down and talk to different couples, um, it's interesting why that man went to cheating or why that woman went to cheating. But um, sex is a powerful thing. Very powerful. Um, you ask, so I can tie all this in with why men look at porn you know, to feel those sexual desires. Men are just, let, 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 let me say something to y'all ladies that y'all already know. Your bodies are sexy. Your curves are sexy. Your breasts are sexy. Your booty is sexy. You know, your vagina is beautiful. Everything about you is sexy. So that's why a man move off of what 
He see you don't you don't think the men in the, in the Bible was going through that? You don't think Solomon went through that? Man had a thousand women, seven hundred wives, and three hundred concubines. Think about that. Look at David, his 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 daddy David, lusting after Bathsheba. Men have a lusting problem. We look constantly. I don't care how saved some man may say they are how. How many members they got in their church as a big time pastor? Me and look. You can't help but to look and notice what she find. Woo! 36, 24, 36. That's a brick house. I don't care how saved you think you are. Your flesh ain't saved. And that's what makes it hard on us as, as men and for y'all as women. But the Bible says we supposed to have what? Self-control. But how many of us use use our self-control? See, when a man work hard, provide, raise the children, teach. See, I'm talking about men who are submitted to the Holy Spirit, who know how to be a man, who operates being a man as the way the Bible has showed us. Them type of men like us, we don't make up excuses. We, we work hard. So at the end of the day, oh, we don't want to hear no excuses about why you don't want it. Now, if you sick, that's something totally different. But if you just, it, it, when it comes to, that's the best thing you can say is I just, I don't feel like it. There's something wrong with that. I remember at a former church I was at um, years ago, um, the, the, the pastor's wife, she told me, I'll never forget this. She said, these women don't understand that it don't matter all the excuses we give to our husbands, they don't want to hear it. And I love what she said. She said, now, my husband has a high sex drive. She said, he always wanted more than me. He he wears me out. And and, and I and I, I, she said, I don't mind that because I would, I'd rather him wear me out than to go wear somebody else out. She said, he has a very high sex drive, and he wanted at least five days out the week. If he can't get five, he going to go four. She said, if I ain't gave it up in two days after we, he going to be asking me what's wrong with you. She said, but as a woman, as a virtuous woman, she learned that because he praises her, as the Bible say, a husband praises his wife. So when she started recognizing to be a virtuous woman, she said, she said her excuses went out the door. She said, I don't, I don't care if I was tired. I don't care if my head was hurting. I'm not going to neglect him because... He wants it. So she said, I don't care what I felt like. I would turn over and say, baby, you better go and get it while you can get it. And I thought that was very powerful and, and very interesting because I said, man, what if most women was like that? But each woman, is, you know, women are different. Um, I saw a woman the other day on, on uh, one of these, um, forgot social media, I forgot which one it was on. And she was, she was talking bad um, about women who, make up all those excuses. She she was talking about when you got a good man though. So like I say, sex is a um it's not just physical for a man, you know. A man wanna feel needed, he wanna feel valued, he wanna feel that confidence level, you know. And that's one thing about a woman that a woman can do when the man is down. A true woman can truly build a man up, you know, because men get down. You know, we we take the bumps and the bruises in this life also. We we get hit hard, man. It's um, it's hard, you know, a lot of times, you know, out here surviving and, and trying to provide and be a man. That's why I don't make up excuses, but you got these men out here who ain't even doing nothing at all, you know, and trying to just pretty much live off a woman. And them the ones that's getting mad and complaining because the sex ain't there like they want it. Well, men like that, what are you bringing to the table? Hmm. You want her to open up, up up her legs, but she won't go get a job. You better go back to that old song Erica Badu did call. You better call Tyrone. She said, I'm getting tired of your sh. Let me leave that alone. <laughs> you don't never buy me nothing. <laughs> she said, every time I come around, you want to bring Jim James. Y'all know, y'all know how it go. Men like that want to be with their homeboys, bring their homeboys around. Well, she's not looking at you. As the man that you need to be, because she's expecting something else out of you. But at the same time, ladies, what do they say about you when you hold on to a man like that? 
And then you got the women out here. I just love him, JT, because he a gangster. He a thug. He blessed down there. He he blessed me in that bedroom. Boy, he can go, he can go, he can go. But what do he have behind that? See, you got to have more than just sex in his life. Sex, like 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 the, like the old folks used to say, do it, pay the bills. Do it, pay the bills. What's that old saying? Um, no finance, no romance. Y'all, to the old school, y'all know what I'm talking about. So um, that's just my little input on that, man. Sex is a beautiful thing when it's done the right way. Unfortunately, um, you done had this abuse of it for so many years. You got people that just sleep around with anybody, any and everything. So ties, you got to be careful out here, man. These demons are traveling, are traveling, are traveling. Um, but before I end, uh, brother Jock Mock, I will say your name right, Jock Mock. Um, yes, I did see that about um, that new thing with them scientists at CERN, um, the new scary discovery they was talking about um, with, with this look. I think they was calling it some kind of ghost, and they was talking about everybody should start being terrified of that. Um, <laughs> it, it don't bother me not one bit. Um, I, I saw what you was talking about. I stay up on a lot of stuff. I cut nothing for it, man. It, it ain't gonna, let me tell you something. It ain't going to scare me. I have something inside of me that, that has no fear. And the most high, the Holy Spirit, is always first in my life. I don't care what they throw at us on the news. I don't care what they shoot our way. You know, my goal is death. Somebody catch that. My goal is death because I got to go by my death to gain eternal life. So let me... Let me die in my flesh. That's why he said, don't even fear the one that can harm the body. Why, what are you really saying, JT? You you ready to die? No, I ain't ready to die right now. But uh, I I live every day like it's my... Let me let me say it as I close. Because that's a whole other video. I plan like I'm going to live forever. But I live every day like it's my last one. Because we don't know when we're going to take our last breath. And that's why I do all I can, why I can, because one day my light's going to shut off. Y'all have a blessed day. Shalom.